What is going on? I'm Zedmod. Code Zedmod in that creator boost. I don't have a jingle, but consider using Code Zedmod in every single Supercell game. Mission, we got some gunboat energy goodness. Boom Pass missions doing all sorts of good stuff for us. I love the Boom Pass. It is doing great things for Boom Beach. If you don't love it, do let me know why, and uh, don't just include the fact that it doesn't include extra instant training, because a lot of players don't seem to mind all that much. Um, this account is my low account. It is one that I haven't shown you this season. Uh, it has everything. I did the dumbest tech tree possible on this which put me way, way, way behind. Went and got flares, went and got rifles, then couldn't get heavies, couldn't get machine guns. Uh, we maxed out heavy Zooka, we got barrage maxed. Uh, I went back for that. I went up and got both heavy choppers and seekers. I have, I think, every possible negative node this season. I was using rocket choppers for a while. I was using Seekers for a while, uh, Heavy Choppas, and now I'm finally, finally, finally into five engine rooms. I just got Shock Launchers, finally have extra troop damage. I am sitting here with 80% troop damage at the second. That means we should be good to go for Heavy Chopper Rush. Um, we do have building health, which is going to slow people down a little bit. Only 30% building damage, and... Frankly, I've seen this comment a couple times, so I'm not going to say it was make it up as if it's mine, but when you see people with lower building damage, it's actually a little bit scarier because you have to go way, way faster. Yes, you might fizzle, but the chances of that are pretty slim at the moment. Still, uh, speaking of my other account was in 19. I went and got critter launchers. I think it's fallen down to like mid 17. That is because I don't have flare, don't have building health. I know going back for flare and building health uh, is the answer for diamond, but I just it just hurts me a little bit. And that's where I play a little bit too much with emotion. And so I have saved for six. If you want to see six engine rooms, probably lose. Uh, stick around for tomorrow's video. I have 130 keys, so I can get that. I can also get that extra couple boom cannons in a second. I gotta get, I think I have two chests waiting, so I should maybe have 170 keys. Getting into rocket launchers as well. It's gonna be interesting because I'll finally be able to open up laser rangers potentially, which might add some fun. I have also seen a bunch of people playing with bombardiers. Not sure I want to go Bombardiers. If we're playing with Emotion, it's probably going to be me going with Heavy Choppa, Laser Ranger. We will find out. But for right now, let's load eight of those yellow school buses and we will just get rocking and rolling. This account should be far, far, far higher, but we're not. Can't dwell on that. We are just going to get our troops dropped. We are going to flare up onto that Doom Cannon, and we are gonna throw a barrage onto that Shock Launcher. Why the Doom Cannon, you might be thinking? Just want to get our heavies moving in the right direction, and now we can get going back into here, away from that Shock Launcher, getting onto that bottom engine room, spitting out heavies every which way. Let's throw a smoke to get our troops onto that Shock Launcher, and then onto that engine room bit by stinking little bit. We've got lots and lots and lots of tools, so spitting out heavies every which way, using the occasional smoke, and then trying to figure out where the... Okay, they got two engine rooms at the back. Let's get going. We're going to get onto that right there, and again, throwing out a smoke here and there just because just to get our heavies in the right direction. You don't need smoke to get your heavies to do heavy rushing. And I'm probably wasting a little bit of GBE doing it, but I figured, you know what, let's try to skip past, get as many heavies as we can onto things, and then we can get that final flare out. Would we have a barrage a little bit earlier? Probably. We would also go probably a couple seconds faster, but 2 minutes 43 seconds, not too shabby. Um, quick note that I copied someone's base. I'll... Sh I'll talk about, I, I don't know whose base it was at all, but I'll show you the change that I made. We are going to be ever so slightly faster because it feels like they don't have enough GBE for a flare, maybe? Or, nope, they're just full clearing everything with heavy choppers. So if you're using heavy choppers, do flare building to building. Uh, don't do what blue tigers do in here. You're wasting all sorts of time. Maybe they're just used to burning through bases, but we are going to pick up the win. And the base that I copied 
uh, had the shock launcher right about here. And what people would do is they just flare the shock launcher, which gets all of their troops in the neighborhood of that engine room. So that's why I've moved this back into here, giving ourselves a little bit of insulation from that front engine room. I feel like everyone in like the 16, 17, 18 range has gone to heavy chopper rush, which I am not a giant fan of, but um, you see, there we go. Minus 20% building damage. Like that is bananas. And what I've also tried is I've tried going along this right hand side to the back engine room and coming back around and it just ends up being slower. So don't feel like, uh, I feel like that's not the right call. It does work very, very, very well with uh, rocket choppers, but with heavy choppers, just not ideal. And again, using that one smoke just to try to get our troops a little bit closer to that shock launcher before they start to get shocked or hit by critter launchers or whatever it might be. And so that's why I am mixing in the occasional smoke here and there. And then we are going to go towards that right hand side. I'm going to do a bit of zigzagging here, but the theory behind that is that way we can get rid of these shock launcher, get on to the engine rooms a little bit quicker. Don't have to worry too, too much about critter launchers. I don't think, especially with this negative, whatever the heck percent they've got on those, um, Defenses, getting as many of our heavies rocking and rolling onto those engine rooms as we possibly, possibly can, and just keeping things moving. This is not a sexy hit. This is not a super fun hit, but this is very, very prevalent this season, so I wanted to make sure that I did, in fact, cover it. Trying to get these engine rooms down, and even with negative 20% or whatever the heck this person's defenses had to say, getting our troops wrecked by those critter launchers. We're dropping some heavies here. I'm going to wait a second or two until a couple more. There we go. Using that final flare, your heavy heavies that are dropped do not follow the existing flares for whatever reason. So saving that gunboat energy for after they do drop. So I think we're actually going to lose to this person. They had negative building damage hammer probably dropping the hammer on us. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, we lost by three seconds. So if you're struggling out there and you've leaned into all of the defensive things, we obviously can't change this. I wish we could, but it's a little bit more obvious, but there's the purple. So this building damage, negative building damage, we're going to keep that. Let's go back and see if we can find any other purple nodes that we can swap out. Don't care about flamethrower versus mortar. I think we got an extra mortar somewhere along this path. Is it there? Uh, somewhere. There it is. There's the extra mortar. So we're just going to see if we can't swap something out to give us a little bit extra troop damage. Trying to find all of those negative nodes. Uh, where are you negative nodes? Negative building damage. That's fine. I feel like I should have more right there. Maybe we can swap that one out for some GBE. Might be doable, uh, but... Uh, for the moment, heavy chopper, rush, just burning through bases. So, <clears throat> um, definitely not perfect on the heavy chopper rush. This is my first foray into it this season. And you see that we're just in and out, up and down, getting crushed by people. Still, I'm kind of tempted to just see if we can't drop, like, is it silly to try and drop seekers for that back engine room? probably is part of the problem so or maybe we could drop seekers with our heavy choppers i'm probably just straight up overthinking it though so we're just gonna drop and go ignoring all warning signs getting our troops towards all of the things and uh maybe we'll throw some barrage onto that doom cannon that's about the only thing that can slow us down at the present i do believe heavy choppers getting hit fairly hard by all of the things and this doom cannon is on the path of where the heck we want to go so we'll get rid of it on our path then keep going towards the engine rooms bit by stinking little bit definitely feeling like i could be mixing some seekers in with all of these heavy choppers especially with no shock mines and no shock launchers i probably should have just straight up secret this base but uh, i am gonna stop incessantly 
clicking on that flare button because I know it drives many, many, many of you crazy. And my apologies again. Uh, it's just a force of habit. I just know by doing it that I can guarantee that my troops will get to where I want them to be because there's nothing worse than sending a smoke or a med kit when you're trying to throw a flare. So we're going to get two minutes, 48 seconds. I should be in at least 18 with this account, probably even higher than that. Uh, getting that next rank would get us into shock mines. There we go. We're going to pick up a win. That is good, good news. Uh, I kind of want to just go get shocks and shock mines and then maybe even do a heavy rush with brick could be a lot of fun. That could make it a little bit more fun than it currently is. Um, also noting that getting a second doom cannon, I've seen all sorts of second doom cannons, have not seen anyone rushing with brick though. So maybe people are going and getting that second doom cannon and coming back, or maybe they just hadn't unlocked brick yet because she is a lot, lot of keys. So if you're heavy rushing with brick, do let me know. I am a little bit out of touch at the moment, a little bit out of sorts as well. You know what? We're going to try it. I want to try with these seekers, getting those back engine rooms down could work out. We're going to find out. It might be stupid. We might lose. But uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's go there. Let's throw a barrage back here because I don't want to lose any of my seekers to those boom mines. And then we're just going to see what we can do with only six boats of heavy choppers. Uh, definitely going to make, as you can see, getting this engine room right here a little bit slower. I would say about a quarter slower. Uh, math is hard sometimes, I know, but we're going to go something like that, sending those seekers along that back wall, hoping that this silliness does in fact speed things up for us a little bit in the long run, getting that next flare out now, throwing a smoke here, not sure exactly where they'll end up going, but we should in theory be able to speed up that back corner maybe very curious to see if this does go any faster or not those seekers getting onto that back right engine room so 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 much quicker and then promptly dying so we're going to be about the same amount of time i feel like uh maybe 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 could have gotten those seekers a couple seconds later so that our heavy choppas did keep them alive but uh the fact that we were around the same amount of time is just means that I can speed that up. Seekers, I feel like I have a little bit more control over. Heavy choppers, I'm just kind of like dropping them and hoping for the best. If you've, again, I, I've been away all weekend. Uh, if you've got some details for me as far as troop combos you're having fun with or winning with, those are two very different things this season at times. Do hit me up in the comments. And this will be my last attack of this video. We are going to send... We are 100% doing this one. This one, we're gonna actually going to split this up even more. Don't care about anything on this left-hand side. Can go something like that. And then all of these seekers are already on cruise control to get that back right engine room. We are going to drop a couple smokes just to make sure that they get where we need them going. Getting our flares, hurrying our troops up probably there we go get going get going the fact that they don't have much building damage means we can go something like this trying to get all of our seekers towards those back engine rooms speeding things up bit by stinking little bit these heavy choppas are just so slow at the second and there we go now we can drop all of our barrages onto that back back engine room we are gonna get about three minutes and three minutes come on b3 plus there we go booyah three minutes two seconds so those spread base where those seekers were easy easy access that is what i'm hoping to see here so don't go back for seekers if you don't have them but if you use them early on they are a option definitely definitely an option i'm gonna keep pushing this account as you can see it has not been in 18 it has not been the focus of my season my other account has been in 19 probably should be higher but like i said 
I am leaning into the fun part of this season. Uh, going six will hopefully continue that trend. We will have to wait and find out. This person does have shock mines, though. I kind of want to go something like this. Can we get that back engine room down with one boat of seekers? I kind of doubt it, but we're going to find out here in a big, big way here in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Getting you onto there. Uh, we're going to... How can I do that? You know what? That shock launcher will probably be a problem. So we're going to throw our GBE onto you. Come on, heavy choppers, get a move on. This is where the slowness driving me insane. But as you saw there, we have an extra barrage already simply because of the fact that we didn't drop that eighth heavy chopper, saving us a little bit of gunboat energy, which these heavies back here are distracting that shock launcher. Not a big concern there. Um, one boat of seekers, probably not going to cut it, I don't think. But we can go something like that, trying our darndest to do hybrid attacks as we try and make them up in the process. One boat of seekers at the back, busting open that back, back engine room, maybe. And I feel like it's not going to work out. We did get a bunch of damage on that back engine room, but wasting our GBE on that front shock launcher probably was not the answer. We are going to be fairly low on GBE. I don't think we're going to get that barrage. So splitting with Seekers, working well on one attack and not so much on the next attack. And I should know how much this engine room is worth, but I don't, so I wasn't ready with the barrage. We can now retreat the heck out of there. We have lost. Two minutes 30. Is that considered a fake retreat? Is that me pulling off the not so popular fake retreat? I don't know. It wasn't intentional if it was. Maestro, if I beat you and we fake retreated, I'm going to say sorry, but uh, yeah, you already had us beat. So that was not, uh, that was not what was intended. Anyways, this base is too compact without critter launchers and without shock mines. So I would not recommend it, but uh, heavy chopper rush. It works, it's kind of fun, and I am kind of really looking forward to trying it with Brick because it could be even more ridiculous. Uh, I am Zedmot. Hopefully your warship season is good. Hopefully your weekend was fantastic. Do hit me up in the comments. And like I said, consider subscribing for some six engine room goodness with all sorts of extra defenses involved. I'm Zedmot. Thanks for coming in. Peace.